Hello, my name is Tathloon Penry. I'm a solitary pagan witch and the founder of the Wolf and Howl Press. And this evening's little chat is about how we use our talents on our spiritual path, which is something I touched upon uh, much earlier in my first video, which was about how to find your spiritual path. And this was prompted by a query I had where uh, a listener wrote in and asked, how do I use my particular talents on my personal spiritual path? Now, it's always difficult to know uh, whether it's a chicken or the egg, which comes first. Does our talent serve our spiritual path or does our spirituality somehow blend in and suit our particular talents? Now, personally, I think our talents are something we do and pursue whether or not we have a spiritual path. And therefore, I think when we're trying to mesh the two together, I think our spirituality comes first. We get on with our spiritual path. We're not going to suddenly stop practicing the piano, for example, because we're on a spiritual path. And if we did, then by the time we were ready to pick up the piano again, we would have lost a lot of our skill simply through lack of practice. So it's very important not to get too bogged down with this. Very important to enjoy your spirituality. You know, a sense of joy is, it's probably the most important thing that we bring to and that we take away from spirituality. And so, if you find that you're on a spiritual path and you feel drawn towards drawing or whatever it is your interest happens to be, then you will pursue that. And your spirituality being what it is will influence how you go about it. You mightn't think about it that much, but it will. It will somehow seep into the type of artwork you do or the type of music you play or write. And uh, in the case of the person who wrote to me, it was a, a talent for languages, which is a wonderful gift. Now, this might seem a little more tricky to uh, knit together with spirituality, but actually it isn't because, as I said, spirituality and talents are all about communication. And if you have a gift for languages, then you really do have the drop on the rest of us. Because, for example, if you're following an ancient path, which you're trying to reconstruct, something like the ancient Egyptians or the Babylonians or the Vikings or what have you, well, then you are at home in trying to reconstruct their texts or their uh, inscriptions, stuff like that. And even if your talent is for modern languages, but you happen to be on a, um, a reconstructionist path, then you have an advantage in that an awful lot of information has in fact been written in other languages, especially French and German. So you have the advantage that you can uh, get to the original texts, the original um, academic journals, things like that, and you can translate these and then it helps you to communicate with others. So don't, don't worry too much, I think, is my main message on this. Follow your path, enjoy it. Follow your hobbies and your talents and enjoy them. And sooner or later, this joy, this enjoyment, after all, joy is the middle part of enjoyment, uh, they will come together and you really don't need to worry about it. Anything like as much as you might have thought. And I hope you found that helpful. Please don't be afraid to write in if you have any further queries. And thank you for listening. Goodbye.